Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. This is my lovely wife, Jen, and today we're continuing our journey through Andor. I have been thoroughly enjoying this. It very much is a different style of show mm -hmm. than what we're used to with Star Wars. Um, for some reason, and I've talked about this in some of the ep other episodes, that they were able to make like dialogue heavy episodes still really engaging. And I've talked before about how really hard that is to do without it becoming boring. I think that they're just nailing it. They're making it just super engaging. These little bits, uh, like with we see Clem's, I'm sorry, I was about to say Clem's father. We see Andor's father, Clem, like hanging briefly. So they give us these little moments that just like hook us. We wanna know what happens to that. And we're invested enough into the main characters that we wanna continue learning about them. Uh, so I am I'm really hooked in this show. I could see it not being for everyone because not everyone likes the slow burn that this is. And normally I might even agree if it was actually boring, but I find it to be really, really fascinating, really interesting. And I know that as we continue on with this season, that it's that's gonna have some high highs, just like we saw in episode six, which is still some of the best like Star Wars content I've seen in recent years. So I am very much looking forward to continuing on here in episode eight. How are you feeling going into this next episode? Good. To piggyback off what you said, I'm enjoying the difference in tone and I like that they're just letting these conversation scenes play out. I think as time goes on, it's getting like harder and harder to come across that. At least a series that really is a majority like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm really liking the uh, just difference in tone. Um, Storylines are really interesting. A lot of uh, uncomfortable situations. You know, um, Cassian, he's just finding himself in all sorts of uh, situations where it's just like not knowing how he's going to handle it. Handle it. You know, mm -hmm. um, he's in the situation now where like he's trying, his mother, right? It's his mother. Mm -hmm. Petunia. Petunia, <laughs> where he, you know, wants to take her. He wants to save her and and get away. And her really just saying, I, I can't go. So I, I'm enjoying all these different types of moments and uh, everything that comes along with it. So it's, it's really juicy. And uh, I'm not sure how he's going to get out of this. He's supposed to be in prison for six years or something. Uh, so uh, <laughs> It's like 10 years for a parking ticket. It's like, geez, man. Uh, but that's the Empire for you. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Episode 8 of Andor. I didn't do anything. Wait. How is he going to get out of this? And that's supposed to be the like place that he's like, supposed to be like his safe haven? Yeah, or where he's, he's running like, away from? Yeah, he's like trying to? to lay low. That's some bad luck right there. That's some yeah. bold and bad luck right there. For real. It is. Remember that time I got, uh, I was having my lunch break on my night shift at a park. And I had two fake guns in the back seat that were prop guns I was using for making YouTube videos. And the police pulled over and looked in the back seat of the car. And I was like, yeah, I'm just on lunch break. It's 2.30 in the morning at this park. Sees the guns and reaches in and grabs me and calls like all this back up. And I'm like, they're fake. They're not real. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of stuff that happens to me. My man reaches through my window and like grabs me out of the shirt. I, was like, I thought this was America. <laughs> I'm a tourist. I'll let it. I bet you people that come to Florida and get arrested say the same thing. <laughs> Man's playing Pong and Tetris. He's not gonna be able to stick with this. Yeah, I mean, who could blame him though? This is like a special kind of hell. I mean, it looks kind of comfy to me. It's order and. <laughs> I like his little Star Wars suit. Oh, Business suit. I wonder why they have to take their shoes off. Look at that Star Wars suit. What happened to Lieutenant Bluffin? I lost the question. <laughs> I was planning on calling you in to fill some gaps in the report. We were scheduling that. This is like you and me working together. Yeah, this is pretty much how you talk to me too. ...to the Bureau of Standards Data Center looking for <laughs> just Cassian and... All right, I'm just trying to do my job, work my cubicle. And I'm trying to keep him in order because half the time he doesn't listen. Engineer. We've been over this. You've been at the Bureau of Standards for less than a month and you filed five false inquiries. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Doing what you hired me for, Jennifer. Can you care to tell me before I waste more of my time figuring out what it is you are up to? This really is. Trying. Oh! It's like uh, the prison in uh, Captain America Civil War. Is that to deter, like, escapees? 
I'm guessing so. Like if you jump out, you'll get sucked yeah, down yeah. and killed. Yeah, yeah. Stat. Unit. The fact of the Steergard Naval Yard last year. This unit was found last month on Ferrix in the Morlana One sector. Andor was in the act of transferring the unit to a person we've named Axis. Someone there is talking. We need to be listening. It's a large investment. It's a fraction of the price of lost technology. It's the first best lead we've had. Supervisor Miro has convinced me. Ferrix was a mistake. It's the first one he's made. Down the rest now! Going back! Welcome to Narkina 5. You'll be surprised by the calm, sanitary conditions and our minimally invasive enforcement techniques. Oh. Oh. That was level one of three. Oh, jeez. Tongue stood steel. It's actually pretty brilliant. If one of them step does something they're not supposed they to, all they all pay for, yeah. Yeah, and I could see that getting old real quick for those prisoners. You'll stop filing requests for Andor. I will inform the Bureau of Standards that you were of service to the Empire today. I was a good deputy inspector. I solved a double murder and found the killer in two days. Can one ever be too aggressive in preserving order? Raise the alarm one more time, and it won't be me you're speaking to. That rod. If I have to use it, you remember it. Yes? Who man ready on 52D requesting unit override? Sorry, I had to wait. They're short handed down there. They had to pull a guy out from four. Ready on the floor? Looks good. Prep for door. Star Wars prison. Mm. It's a bit like the prison in Guardians of the Galaxy, except all white. This is unit 52D. D is for day shift. It's uh, Andy Seven Circus. A factory. My name is Kino Loy. I'm the 52D unit manager. You won't be back. They only come to pick up the dead and bring their replacements. Off program! He was a Snoke in episode what? eight. Up. He was Caesar in Planet of the Apes. Mm-hmm. Smeagol in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. You play against all the other tables in this room. I play against all the other rooms. Play. I have 249 days left of my sentence. Don't ever slow up my line. Table five. Handy, my guy. He's such a good actor, though, for real. This is Melchie. Do I not these people have regular names? What's up, Ham? Well, give us a pass. Give us room, Ham. It's only an hour you had. 42 minutes. Come on, boys. We can fight. Fight to D shift productivity levels are unacceptable. As ever, the least productive table will be disciplined. Disciplined, mm. jeez. Let's go, let's go! Get busy, you'll get fried! Ooh, Not what? for me. No, I'll have hers. Maybe that's why she doesn't like that's her husband. Pretending. Eating worms. Hard to believe. Take Homer, how prompt you are. Baron? Still in town or commuting? A bit of both. Well, good luck feeding the galaxy. I'm off to feed myself. Charity begins at home. You're here all the time now. Learning to love Coruscant. Cassian, <laughs> my guy. Palpatine's frustrating, yes. Too easily provoked, yes. Overreactive. But the Emperor's primary charge is to protect us, is it not? Surveillance and prosecution, without limit. If you're doing nothing wrong, what is there to fear? Oh, man. White is cold, red is hot. The white lights start flashing, you've got seven seconds. Everything you need here is on the wall. Water, night light. And food? The tube winner gets taste with their food. Oh. Top table wins flavor. This is cleaned every day. That is your tab. People must be talking about it. About what? The public order resentencing directive. He's never heard of it. He never heard of it. Told you. Don't ever look at the number. Double, triple, it doesn't matter. Hey! You're until they don't want you anymore. Enough! I said that's enough. You don't walk in your sleep, do you? What? Hmm. Cutting close there. Cause that's why they don't have like uh, bars on their cells, yeah. or, like doors. Yeah. How's he gonna get out of here? Yeah, I don't know. This uh, 
This sucks. To visit? No, Mon became a senator at 16. So this is where you met? She became a senator oh, at 16, wow. Is that like their shower, I guess? I guess. You okay? Mm. He's struggling. So, help. Come on, guys. It's like Gordon Ramsay. Winning the shift today. Shades of wasted. She has pain in the knee. The doctor was here yesterday. Oh, Petunia. She wanted to see if the tunnel under the hotel was still open. So the rebellion can sneak in and take them by surprise. You really don't know where he is. He's uh, having a rough time right mm. now. Yeah. She got off. Why were you? I was about to come. The planet. What's up? I need to look for something in the back. It's the shop owner on Ferrix. She's trying to find Cassie and Andor. His mother is ill. She might have a lead. Yeah, more likely it's the ISB working her radio. Are you guessing? And you're slipping. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. We're shutting down Ferrix. The code. I took him on the farm door. Was I insane? You were desperate for Aldani to work, and it did. Vulnerability is inevitable. I'm not slipping. So they decided that they want to try and kill Andor, right? I'm not sure what they're wanting to do once they find him. Four potential routes. Let's take the long way around. This prison system sucks. Yeah, but it's effective. I'm just saying. Oh no. I'm sure that would just drive you crazy. Oh. Oh. Who is it now? Oh. Oh. Oh no. That's horrible. That is horrible. What's going on? It's Packshard. I'm not sure they're all over it. Where is he? Where mm. is the is it because she uh, tried to communicate? Well, they want Andor, so. This guy's got a cool uniform. Colleen! Get the Zorbies, run! Zorbies. Get her! Run, Bix! Get her! Oh, oh no! So, my friend. Oh, it's just about Saw Guerrera. The same thing. You'd never tell me if it was. Yeah. Do you remember him from Rogue One? And that's exactly. I I actually do. Well, exactly. and he was on. It was a masterpiece. Rebels, right? Yeah. But he was also in Clone Wars, though, too. I no? think so. Yeah. Why did you bring me some toys? Poor Cullet. I did. And to Krieger. He's been probing the Imperial Power Station at Spellhouse. I work alone. That's what I'm trying to change. I'm not going to put my people at risk. Krieger's a separatist. My pays a neo Republican, human cultist, galaxy partitionist. They're lost. What are you, Luther? I'm a coward. I'm a man. No sale today, Luther. Good luck with Anto Krieger. Oh, no. Uh. Mm. Hello, Bix. Oh. Oh, she's in trouble. What are they making? I I'm not sure. Star Wars stuff. Uh, I'm worried about this old guy. Me too. I feel like he's going to be too slow to keep around. All right, just finished episode eight of Andor. Lots going on right now. We're still unsure of how Cassian is gonna get out of this prison. They have Andy Serkis here, who I know is like a top tier actor. So I know that there's gonna be more involved with him. There has to be more involved with him later. Uh, he's like the leader of this prison group. And then I like seeing the different approaches with the politics of people like Saw Gerrera versus Mon Mothma, how they want to handle the rebellion. And we got a little bit of that in the Rebels show, because Saw Gerrera was very much like any means necessary, I don't care who gets killed along the way in Rebels, versus the Rebels who were like, no, what, otherwise what separates us from the Empire? So I think we're gonna get a little bit of that 
in this. Maybe, I don't know for sure. But how, what did you think of episode eight? I really like this episode. My prediction is that Andy Serkis, whatever the character's name is, is gonna eventually help him escape in some form. That's just my prediction. Um, I'm getting a little bit lost on Mon Mothma. Mm -hmm. What exactly is going on? I, I get that she's trying to get help from Tay, financial help from Tay. Mm -hmm. Beyond that- but what is her larger plan? Right. Yeah. Really need to just explore that a little more. Also loving the Bix storyline yeah. of her being captured. I was worried that that was gonna happen and sure enough it did. How they manipulate the situation to have her see, it, is, is it her father or father figure? Yeah, I guess so. See him in the state that he is in as she comes in, yeah. small detail, but I was just like, brilliant. So it's really starting to show a lot of character with this female officer. I, uh, yeah. The names, I'm having a hard time remembering all these people's names. Really showing her like dedication to getting this yeah. solved. I'm also struggling with some of the names. There's so many new characters and they introduce yeah. new characters every like couple of episodes too. They brought back the, the guy from Lazy Town in this one and he's, you know who I'm talking about, it was the, the, the guy at the very beginning, working the cubicle job now. Um, and, oh, okay. and he's like, I can be of you know service, you know, all, yeah. all that. So there's gonna be something more with him. I was a little, I, I don't really know what's going on with the two girls from the heist episode. I, I wasn't sure exactly why they're looking for Cassian, why that's so important Well, there was right that now. other female that was talking to blonde girl, mm -hmm. the, the leader. Right, oh yeah, And she, right. she was telling her to find Cassian, and I thought she said to kill him. Yeah. And she seemed a little resistant to that. Skarsgård, it was like his assistant went and talked to her. So maybe maybe they want to kill Andor to like cover up a loose end with them. I'm unsure. That was the same lady I, from I the so. store? I think so, I think it oh. was. Oh. Uh, and then Mon Mothma. She looked a little different. She was wearing like a different outfit and hair and all that, but. That makes sense, okay. Uh, I agree with you about Mon Mothma. They're spending a lot of time with her trying to raise funds and then try and sway this other guy in. It seems like they're almost focusing more on the husband's perception of infidelity more than they are also the, the, the actual. Also the daughter. Yeah, I'm she's curious like, about what? the daughter. The daughter keeps popping up yeah. like she's gonna play a bigger role. So it would be strange to me if she really had no like yeah, play but... in the storyline at all. I hope that Cassian breaks out and breaks out soon. Um, and I, I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with Andy Serkis. We're definitely at, this was that first episode of this new arc. For sure, like it, everyone was right. It, these episodes really are in like mm -hmm. chunks of events. We're back into that build up phase again. And then at the same time, they like bring back those beginning storylines yeah. to kind of elaborate a little more. Yeah, so I'm invested. I, I can't wait to see what happens next. I can't wait to see the culmination of this as well. I'm guessing there's gonna be a culmination of this arc and then a final combination of everything. And that's gonna be the yeah. big moment, that is my anticipation. Uh, but for now, that is it. We'd love to know what you guys uh, think down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down there, we'll check it out. If you did enjoy this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post the next video. Check out Patreon, you can watch this before anyone else, ad-free until I post them. Uh, and you can watch the full length reaction with us over there too. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next Andor video. Take care, everyone.